Hi everyone. So here is an important theorem that set of rational numbers is countable. We all of you have read the theorem that set of rational number in closed interval 0, 1 is countable. But what will be the proof of uh, the set of rational numbers is countable in whole real numbers. Okay. So let's see set of rational number that means Q. Okay. So we have to prove that Q is countable. So first of all, what I am doing that I am breaking Q into some sets, suppose A0, A1, A2, and so on. And A0 contain the zero element. Okay. So we can write it in this form 0 by 1, 0 by 2, 0 by 3 in this form. And all this means only one element 0. So I am taking only 0. Okay. Second one is A1. A1 is equals to I am choosing that 1 by 1 plus minus 1 by 1 plus minus one by two, plus minus one by three, plus minus one by four, in this way, plus minus one by n, and so on. A2 equals to plus minus two by one, plus minus two by two, two by three, two by four, and plus minus two by n and so on. So in this way, in this way, we can write a n, a n equals to plus minus n by one, n by two, n by n, sorry, n by three, and so on, plus minus n by n. And this will be infinite. Now, we have to show that this Q is countable. That means we have to get a one one correspondence between the elements of Q and the natural number. So we have to arrange these elements because we, we have broken the set Q into these sets. So we have to arrange these elements in such a way that we can get the one one correspondence. Okay. So Q, Q is equals to, first of all, write the first element zero. Okay. And you may consider that this is zero by one. Okay. Now I am increasing the numerator. So this will be one by one and also taking the negative part minus one by one. Okay. Again, I am increasing the numerator that is two by one and minus two by one. So the first element is the element of A0 and the second two elements, this is the element of A1 and two by one minus two by one, these are the elements of A2. Now, increase the denominator. So this will be two by two and two by two, this is nothing but one. I already have taken it, so I am deleting two by two. And similarly, if I choose minus two by two, again, this is minus one. So I am not writing this. Now in, again, increase the numerator. So three, three by one, okay? And minus three by one. This is the, these are the elements of A3. These are the elements of A3. And if I increase the, denominator. So this will be three by two minus three by two. Again, three by three and minus three by three and three by three. This is equals to one minus three by three. This is equals to again my uh, one minus one. So I am deleting these two elements. Now again, increase the numerator. So this will be four, four by one. Similarly, minus four by one. Okay, and four by two minus four by two and four by two, that means half and half is the element of A1 and minus four by two, this is equals to minus half. This is the element of again A1. So in this way, four by three minus four by three 
and 4 by 4 that will be again 1 minus 4 by 4 that will be again minus 1. So in this way we can arrange all the elements from a0 to infinity. Okay, And here 0 is our first element, 1 is our second element, this is minus 1, this is our third element, this is our fourth element, fifth element. So in this way every number we can get a one on correspondence with the natural number okay so there exists a one on correspondence between the elements of the set q and the set of, and the elements of natural number so this set q is countable this set q is countable because we have gotten the one on correspondence okay thank you